The following is an exclusive presentation of Raycon Sports. It's a cold, icy night in Charlottesville, Virginia. Winter weather advisory. So come on inside to the John Paul Jones Arena for tonight's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Cavaliers of Virginia. Carolina's coming off a thrilling double overtime win Sunday against Clemson. Tyler Hansbrough led the way, scoring 13 of his 39 points in the two overtime periods. And Carolina escaped. But the Tar Heels come into Virginia banged up. Ty Lawson has missed two games with an injured ankle. Marcus Ginyard, he's nursing a sprained ankle, but will try to play. The Cavaliers are looking for an upset tonight against the fifth-ranked team in the nation at John Paul Jones Arena. It's an ACC Tuesday featuring two of the best players in the league, Tyler Hansbrough, Sean Singletary. We've got the starting lineup and the opening tip, and it's coming up next. CC basketball is being brought to you by Pepsi, by Alltel Wireless, by Food Lion, by Geico, by Ford, by Chick-fil-A, by Advanced Auto Parts, and by Bud Light. Take you back to the window of time, 1976 ACC Championship. And it was Virginia over Carolina. They would love to have that tonight, Billy. Well, Virginia beat the top three seeds in the ACC coming into the sixth seed, the great Wally Walker. Put them to that championship. Incredible three games for the University of Virginia. This telecast is presented in high definition. We're available by Ray Comp Sports. The officials tonight, Ed Corbett, Tim Nestor, and Carl Hess is not here yet. The ice and traffic have prevent, and here he comes out of the back of the arena right now. We'll join them shortly. Two officials to start the game, and Carl Hess is on his way. Carolina has a first. This is Marcus Ginyard. His shot is short. We've got three officials now in the ball game. Carl Hess is now here. Bettinella with a nice drop pass. Jones scores, and Virginia is on the board first. Thompson late getting there. Singletary started everything with a rebound. It's amazing how well he rebounds for a guard that so much is expected of him at Virginia. There he draws the charge. Ellington first personal foul offensive. Take a look at our food line starting lineups. Thomas Ellington Ginyard with that bad ankle starts. Thompson and Hansbrough. Hansbrough missed practice yesterday with a sore toe. And for the Cavaliers, Singletary Jones, Tucker, Joseph, and Pettinella. Thomas on Singletary. That would be an advantage Singletary in regard to quickness and experience. Three ball, Joseph. And Cavaliers. Well, this is a repeat of the way Clemson got started. They double down on Thompson and throw it away. Singletary double clutches and the follow by Pettinello won't go. Ellington? Yes. Poor defensive play that time by Tucker. You've got to get out there on a shooter like Ellington. Gave him a wide open look on a semi break. All right, let's settle in here. Great start. Virginia Cavaliers have lost six in a row, but they are quick to tell you it's upset night here. This is the first ranked team to come to the John Paul Jones this year. They were three and zero against ranked teams a year ago, and this foul is called on Marcus Ginyard, I believe. No, it's on Thomas. Good split of that double team. The hedge move by North Carolina. Singletary, with his experience and his ability, Tim just went and split, which all of a sudden then you're playing five on, on three, which is a terrific move by a guard. Just underway, five to two Cavaliers. Joseph on the baseline, will bring it back out top. And now he'll fire the three. 
Got to question that shot this early in the ball game when your team's playing pretty well. Thompson. Great hands. Ginyard gave Thompson a great pass. He couldn't finish. And Singletary is fouled. Or did he turn it over? Offensive. Well, he's using that little hook move. Here's a look at the four keys to the game, Billy. Well, you've got to feed the monster, and of course, that's uh, in a very positive way, talking about Tyler Hansborough. He has eight, uh, 39 against Clemson, eight 20-point games, eight 20-point, 10 rebound games. He has just been outstanding throughout the course of this year. Without question, has to be the leader for National Player of the Year. Dave Leto is still trying to get a clarification on that foul on Singletary. This is a three ball, and that's good. Well, he tried to pin with that hook move, and that was the call. This is just not letting me get by with it. Well, Ellington with the three ties the score at five. Colton <laughs> Ellen has both battling down low. Timmy, Virginia is the 12th team in the conference in regard to field goal shooting percentage, and you can see why. Too anxious to take bad shots by the wrong people. Hansbro goes down. Cavaliers come up with the ball. Good job by Petnella. Put him on the floor. And there's a foul. A call on Quentin Thomas. Thomas goes in. Good block out here by Petnella. <laughs> he puts his forearm out. Hansborough goes to the floor, somewhat of a flop. Well, Quentin Thomas has picked up his second, and with Bobby Fraser out for the season, and Ty Lawson on the bench with a sprained ankle, Quentin Thomas is your point guard, and he has two early fouls. Two early fouls, and, and North Carolina with nowhere to go for that particular position. Singletary. That Singletary could be off to a huge ball game. Probably Ginyard will have to come over and guard him. Hands grow down the lane, tough one-hander. Does anybody do that better? You know what, what he does? He uses that upper body just to clear out space and then very soft with that release. Good nice hands. hands by Thompson. And the whistle and the foul. And Thompson will go to the line to shoot two. That was a good defensive play by Thompson. And, you know, I'm glad that was all ball or primarily all ball, because if that had come across the head, you've got a very serious foul. Watch how he came across there with a lot of force. Those are the kind that can get you in a lot of trouble. The first personal on Tucker. Not a lot of body contact, but just enough. So Thompson goes to the line. He's a 54% free throw shooter. About the only weakness in this young man's game is he's starting to really come along as a player. He's almost shooting the same from the floor as he is from the foul line, right about 50% from the floor and just about under at 50% from the foul line. Doesn't make any sense. He's been in double figures for the last five games at eight points, eight rebounds, and two blocks against Clemson on Sunday. The leading shot blocker on this North Carolina team. And Hansborough is not the second leading. It's Danny Green who is. Alex Stevenson comes into the ball game, and Thompson will go out with a little bit of a limp yeah. after that foul. Well, he is limping a little bit over there, and that's the last thing that North Carolina needs is another injured player. And it is Ginyard coming over on Singletary. Singletary penetrates, kicks it out, and the air ball. Shot never really had a chance. Amadi Diani just never got balanced, never got squared up. Cavaliers trail by two, 15-58 first half. Well, the banged up Tar Heels are without their point guard. Ty Lawson sitting out his third game tonight after going down with an injury early in the Tar Heels game in Tallahassee 10 days ago. Sophomore lift off the court with an ankle sprain and did not return. The Heels had to go into overtime to beat Florida State. Had another tough game in double overtime Sunday against Clemson, and there he is in good spirits, but sitting on the bench. Terrific numbers. And he was hurt earlier in the year, and in a BYU game, you, you know, his numbers are great, but when you can take into consideration, he has two games this year where he only played marginal time, that BYU game and the Florida State game, and yet when you look at his numbers, they're still outstanding, averaging over 13 points a game. More bad news for Carolina, Billy. You saw Deion Thompson there getting his knee wrapped, and I know you've got ideas. When you ice it, you're done. 
Yeah, that's not a good sign at all for North Carolina. And there was Hansborough again, altering his shot. Petnella thought he was right up there for the block. Hansborough gets in the air and alters that movement, still puts up a soft, nice touch shot. Carolina with its largest lead at 11 to 7, 15 36 to play in the first half. Virginia got off to a 5 0 lead. Carolina's now settled down and settled into this ballgame. Oh, there's a foul on Green, not called. Singletary almost brought to the floor. One thing that they've been talking a lot about here in Charlottesville is that he's getting beaten up. He's doing so much and having to do so much for this ball club, and he's being physically beaten down. Here's hands broke for two. Yes. Looking for that shot more and more now. What it does, teams to me playing against him. We're so used to him being down the paint, so automatically the guy guarding him runs all the way down the floor, sets up under the basket, waiting for Hansborough to come. This is a real nice move by Roy Williams in the fact that Hansborough can pull up and take that jumper, and he's very good at it. I think you're going to see more and more of that as the season goes on. He's worked on his jump shot a great deal, and it's a good-looking stroke. Hansborough has six points early here, Billy. Now you got to figure a guy that shoots over 80% from the foul line has got the ability to step out there from 15 to 18 feet and bury those jumpers, particularly when he's not even being guarded. Bettinelli gets his first rest for the Cavaliers. Shot clock at 16. There's still plenty of time. Inside to Hansbrook. Not a bad job getting him on the way up. And again, that's Singletary. Smart play on his part. Helping out inside, doesn't try to fly up, lock up high, goes after it on the way up. Well, every time Hansbrough touches the ball, they double down, triple down. Here. Well, Virginia does have a lot of fouls that they can use at that particular position. Scott in there now banging against him. Hansbrough goes out. Thompson back in. Close calls inside in regard to positioning. Oh, now we had, you know, it's interesting, Tim. You have two officials start working this game. I guarantee you the four position of the officials with two would call a game much different than oh, three. Oh, absolutely. And there you see calls down in the paint that probably would not be called in the old style of two official ball game. Foul was on green. Cavaliers have not scored in two minutes. Here's Singletary. Good in the air. Deanna down to the baseline. Shot clock at seven. Singletary lets it fly. You know, one of the things that I think is causing Virginia's inability to have a good shooting percentage is very much, not very much ball movement where everybody is moving at the same time. Good rebound by Stevenson. No call on that shot clock. Well, you watch them. Most of the time, you have one guy with the ball. Four men are standing and watching. Cavaliers just three for ten Billy from the floor. Very little total team movement or passing. The ball in one man's hand. Everybody stands. Yeah, not you see ball, that? Ball you see what I'm Everybody stands until Diani then figures out what he's going to do with the ball. Tucker's shot was no good. Singletary has his block. So the offense, you're right, is stagnant. There is no production. There's the little man once again going inside, but Thompson doing a real nice job, and he went up there without worrying about that knee at all. It's no longer wrapped. Let's see how he runs up and down the floor. Four is career high in the ACC. Let's see how they do without him on the floor now. New shot clock they're working with. Again, everybody's standing. One guy with the ball takes his shot. It's not the kind of offense that's going to get people open for easier shots. Calvin Baker's shot was an NBA three attempt. Last touch by the Cavaliers. Hansbrough comes back into the ball game for North Carolina. 
And when you look at this Virginia team, they have a number of players. They got over five guys that have scored double figures against decent teams. They've got obviously Singletary who's had the 30-point games. They've got two Job guys that have Scott. had 20-point games. So they do have guys who individually can score. But their team is is, is kind of set. It's a one-on-one -on -one type game that they play. There's no question that was one-on-one. -on -one. Cavaliers giving it back to the Tar Heels, and they will run. Here's Thompson with the two-pointer. Yes. Same thing. Thompson stopping in the semi-fast break with the big men pulling up at 15, 16 feet. Get wide-open shots. Dave Lato goes right over to Calvin Baker and talks to him about that three he took without ever getting into an offensive set. And there again, you see where the defense is all the way under the basket. Thompson pulls up, takes the jumper. Timeout on the floor as the teams discuss strategy you should do. Premium service, expect it, don't pay it. Talk to Chuck, Charles Schwab. What's he telling them, Billy? I don't want to repeat what he was just telling me uh, because... Uh, clean it up. Yeah, yeah, well, I cleaned it up a little bit. He was telling him, what are we doing out here? And there was a few words left out in that. And, and, and the answer is, what they're doing is just playing one-on-one -on -one basketball, no team movement. When you do that, obviously, you have very little chance to get offensive rebounds and very little chance to get some easy baskets. And another thing you don't do is you, you don't make the defense have to work hard to play you. Dave Lado working with a team that has lost six straight ball games. Says mentally they're fine. He's just trying to get them to think more basketball, be smarter on the court. Here we see some movement right now for the first time. People moving, some screens on the inside. See if it pays any dividends. This is Joseph. Scott presenting a nice target inside. Joseph penetrates, tries to bank it in. Gets his own rebound. Best Virginia's luck, giving up the ball, getting something decent. Still plenty on the shot clock as Diani takes it in and leaves it out of bounds. Timeout on the floor, 11.32 to play in the first half. Carolina out to a 15-7 lead. Well, the University of North Carolina has been blessed with some great basketball players. Here we see the inside play. There's the play that I talked about where Hansborough adjusted in the air on the turnaround jumper. Here he is taking that pull-up jumper from 15 feet or so, and Thompson doing equally well on the delayed fast break. And, Billy, the Chick-fil-A nugget of the game, some of those players you're talking about, Pete Brennan, Billy Cunningham, Antoine Jameson. Was Jim. Three pretty good players there. Cunningham in his career had 19 30-point games, 38-15 rebound games, and 40 straight double-double games. Wow. Pretty fair player, huh? No question about it. UVA started two for two. They are now shooting one for 13, haven't scored in five minutes. They need to make a stop and get some kind of offense generated. Well, they need to set some screens. There's another turnaround jumper. Hansborough may have taken the day off in practice yesterday, but he's not taking no. his game off. He's and, got eight points. And uh, Roy Williams did hold a practice yesterday. Then they bust up here. But you have to believe that this team, after that Clemson game, had to be really worn out yesterday. So Hansborough doing a good job taking that time off because you know he's not going to take time off once he dresses up. He hasn't missed Billy. Four for four. And as you said, he's taking those jumpers. Everything's not inside. Here's Singletary. Tough shot. Kicks it out. Could not they buy just, a basket. Not they? even close. Singletary should have taken that one. take a semi-good shot and somebody take a bad one as they've been doing. Joseph running one-hander is too strong. Again, this club is 12th in the ACC in field goal shooting percentage and they are 11th in field goal shooting percentage defense. That's not a good combo. That's a three ball by Thomas. His first points of the game. You almost say at this point if you're Virginia, Start setting screens for Singletary and let him pull you out of this game with a one-man show because the rest of the guys are not getting the job done. Scott with a turnaround, and he hits it. That ends a long drought for the Wahoos. It's a 20-4 Carolina run. And there was a case where Hansville did not play good defense. You very seldom say something about him that's, that's in a negative, but uh, as I said before, he may be tired a little bit. Should have been out on Scott. Nice move by Marcus Ginyard. 
Didn't look like that toe was bothering him too much there. <laughs> wow. To Joseph, wow. You know, everybody, and wow. Joseph hits the three, but everybody's shooting but Singletary. Yeah, I, I don't like that shot at all, considering the score. He's shooting 37% from three, but nobody in position to rebound on a missed shot there. Cuts the Carolina lead to 10. Green off balance, but he's fouled. Offensive on Green. That floater, Tim, and we see so many people are pretty good at it, but you know, you can't use the floater from 12 feet on in. It's got to be like an 18 to 15 because the guys are waiting for you there on the charge. That's two on Green. Mikalausis checks into the ball game for Virginia. He's had a shoulder injury. Kept him out for a month and a half, but he's practiced. And the crowd gives him a standing ovation as he comes into the ball game. Well, the foul's picking up a little bit. But you've got to figure right now, if you're Singletary, you want to take Thomas. He's got two fouls on him. Try to get him back on the bench. There's the split. And the bucket by Singletary. Well, if I'm Virginia, I go right at Thomas now, try to pick up that third foul and make this North Carolina bench get a little shorter. Bellington with the entry pass taken away. Cavaliers making a little bit of a run to Joseph beyond the arc. Good hustle by Stevenson. Ahead to Ansbro. How about that play? Great save to keep it alive. And again, good idea by Singletary. Push the ball up the floor. Oh, that could have been offensive goal. No Tim. bucket. No bucket. Deani in the cylinder. And that ball would have gone in, Tim. There's no question he touches the ball in the cylinder. I think the ball would have come back and gone in the basket. This is a better angle. Yep. No would have been question close, about it. But there's no question that it was a violation. Gingard looks at the shot. Instead, the entry pass to Hansbro for the turnaround. Money. He has not tried his power moves inside. He's been using the turnaround jumper, and his touch has been terrific. Hansbro with 10 points now. Singletary will take that shot and hit it. Boy, that goes to show you when you have range like that, you've got to go out and play him. You go that far from the basket, you blow on by. That's why he's been an all-conference performer. 24-17, Cavaliers on an 11-4 run and showing some life. They're liking it here at John Paul Jones Arena. Cavaliers making a little bit of a run against the fifth-ranked Tar Heels. Tim, we saw Sean Singletary start the game with a tough rebound inside. There he is on the medium-range jumper. Here he is splitting the double team, pulling up for the jumper. And then, of course, we saw him take a shot from about 30 feet with a short little jump shot from the outside without question one of the top players in the league, number two scorer in the league right now. Billy, how about these numbers? You look at career averages of ACC stars like Hansbro and Sean Singletary. Hansbro tonight is 5 for 5, 10 points. And he's got 1,833 points for his career. Well, Singletary has got two. seven. He's 14 away from passing Wally Walker. There's Hansborough's first hits. Stevenson had an easy putback. Went with one hand instead of two. Dave Lato thought Diani had the ball and thought he was fouled at the same time. Instead, it'll be Cavalier ball, no foul call. It's a big possession for Virginia right here. You know, I think we're going to see North Carolina go to some zone to stay out of some foul trouble. And again, because the fact that they've got to be worn down a little bit from that Clemson game. There's a double team trap. Great pass. Scott, yes. Diani got rid of that ball beautifully. A terrific run by the Cavaliers. North Carolina led by 13 points with 10-16 to play. Now 24-19 as we go to six and a half. Ginyard. And Diani with another rebound. Ginyard got caught in the air. He was wanting to pass that ball, not shoot it, but Stevenson stayed in his spot instead of moving closer to the basket. No anger. Singletary with the running one-hander, banks it in. He's got nine points, and it's a three-point game. Hands throw offense.
Dixon. And there, there was the flop going in the other direction. Nikoloskis feeling contact and going right to the floor. Watch that. The referees went for it. Sets the stage for the future. Tyler Hansbrough's first personal. Roy Williams is kind of, he's hollering flop, flop. One of the things that have been said down on the other end of the court by other coaches when Hansborough does it. Velasquez goes out and gets a break. Bettinella comes back into the ball game for the Cavaliers. Joseph got trapped, threw it off Thomas's leg, so it'll be Virginia's basketball with 15 on the shot clock. You know, when you have a player as good as Singletary, and I realize you don't want anything to surround like a one-man team, but gosh, he does so many things to put so much pressure on the defense when he has the ball. They're almost better off if he has to initiate all of their possessions. The last time Carolina came to Charlottesville, J.R. Reynolds scored 10 of his 16 points down the stretch, and UVA beat the Tar Heels. Here's a whistle and a foul. Again, I'm waiting for North Carolina to go to zone. They don't want to go to zone with Singletary's ability to shoot way out. Biani also has that jump shooting ability, but they're going to have to stay out of foul trouble. Steven Steven short bench. Stevenson picks up his first Billy. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation. Any use of it without the express permission of Raycom Sports and the ACC is prohibited. Somebody getting to the foul line before North Carolina. And we know in that double overtime, it's one of the statistical things I've never seen in the basketball game before. Clemson had 90 points and had not yet made a free throw. Clemson gets into double overtime and has not yet made a free throw. I guarantee, and I, I don't have a historical computer or anything, but I guarantee that's never happened in the history of basketball before. And I'm with you. I'm guaranteeing it as well. Singletary makes it a one-point game, and Hansbro scores at the other end. He's got 12 points, and Billy, this may just turn out to be a shootout between Hansbro and Singletary. Singletary loses it, and Thomas makes him pay at the other end, and he'll go to the line for one more. The foul is on Deani. It was good anticipation by Ellington. He made the steal and realized Tom Thomas was on the breakout. Good hit ahead of pass. Just soft enough to let... Thomas run to it. So Quentin Thomas, the senior out of Oakland, California, will go to the line. You know, we think about matchups between these two teams. I think of Ralph Sampson's senior year when they got knocked off by Shaman. That year they only lost five games. Two of them to North Carolina. One time North Carolina ranked number one in the nation. And then two of them to NC State. They played NC State four times that year. Beat them the first two times. And then lost to them in the ACC Tournament Championship. And then, of course, the Ralph Sampson's final game. With Jim Galvano's club made it to the Final Four, beating in the Western Region. There have been a lot of battles between these teams that have been really special. Deani beyond the arc. Yes! But see what I said? When Singletary starts the offense, Jim, he's guarded by two people. So you automatically have a mismatch somewhere. Here he is, Singletary. He got caught, didn't know whether to try to yeah. dunk it or just bank it in. He should have just laid it up, used the board. This will belong to North Carolina. Here it is again. Yeah, he just had an easy layup to put it off the board, and I don't know why he tried to dunk the ball. Conserve some energy. Get the easy two. Well, you don't see that very often. Eight turnovers now for Carolina. And Singletary couldn't make them pay. So it's still a two-point ball game with 4.44 to play in the first half. Now, in fairness to North Carolina, you can see that they, they really have had a lot of energy taken out of them in that Clemson game. Double overtime plus the trip up here. They don't have the same explosiveness they had the other night. Ellington with a tough turnaround. Air ball. They let him know about it. There's another example. Really didn't have the lift on the jump shot. No, but the... Tar Heels get a break because he was last touched by Virginia. Now, where do the points come from? Thompson is limping still a little bit, Tim, out there. Where do they go ahead and get the points? With Lawson no longer in the lineup to go ahead and generate some penetrations and kicks. 
it looks like a, a maybe Green is going to have to step up and get him some points. Well, right, you've got Stevenson, Thompson, Green, and Thomas. And Ellington turns it over. Had it slapped away. Got a question whether or not if you're North Carolina only up two, you want to try that lob pass inside. Just get the ball in bounds, make Virginia work defensively. Billy, you've got to give Virginia a lot of credit. They were down 13. There was no panic. They just continued to battle. Now that Dave Lato timeout got his attention of his ball club there early in the first half. And a lot of it directed at this guy with the basketball, Calvin Baker. Here's a whistle underneath. There's another foul on North Carolina. Tom Thompson for grabbing his jersey. Our Chevrolet Stars of the Week in the conference. Well, Tyler Hansborough, we talked about 35 and a half points per game. 15 and a half rebounds. What a game he had Sunday against Clemson. And the rookie of the week, Kyle Singler of Duke, as the Blue Devils continue to be undefeated. Uh, he and J.J. Hickson having quite a run for conference rookie of the year. Very versatile player is Singler. Can guard people, can rebound, can shoot outside, can pass the ball. I see He's Tyler Hillsborough's numbers in this ball game, but Billy with Duke at 9 and 0 and Carolina at 7 and 2. How about Maryland at 6 and 3 in third position by themselves? Well, Tim, the last time we had them, it's not the same team that's been playing the last five games. They're, the last five games, they're shooting over 50 percent. Tied at 28 here in Charlottesville. Green had a notion, didn't take it. Stevenson jumped hook. And where are the points going to come from? The Wahoos have a chance to take the lead. And the foul will be called, I believe, on Ellington. Timeout on the floor. 3.44 to play in the first half. They're on their feet. We're tied at 28. This telecast is presented in high definition. We're available by Raycom Sports. And we hope that picture is nice and clear because we've got a tie ball game. Quentin Thomas has just picked up his third personal foul. He's the really the only true point guard that Carolina has left with Lawson and Frazier both out. And that's why I thought North Carolina might go to zone, just try to protect some guys and also to try to save some energy here before the second half started. They played all man-to-man -man defense, and right now they've got themselves in some trouble. They've only been to the foul line three times in this first half. They've been averaging 33 foul shots a game in the last three foul, the last three games. So, quite a difference. Well, there's nothing like college basketball. If you're celebrating the win, do it right. The way you celebrate says a lot about you, reflects on your school. So be responsible. Take care of yourself and your friends. That's a message from Anheuser Busch. Virginia with its first lead since they had five points, but they've climbed back into this baby, and they now lead it 29-28. Green posting up down low. Carolina's offense without a point guard in the game. Hansborough at the top of the key. Shot clock at eight. Green penetrates. Shot clock at five, and they nail it. Well, there's nobody has a more perfect Ellington. looking jump shot than Ellington. Just a little step, step back, squares up, and he gets that kind of look. You figure he's about an 80% shooter. And that was all cool. Tar heels by one. Baker and Jones running the offense now. Singletary sitting down with this margin. Again, splitting the double team right down Main Street. Very good job by Baker, the William and Mary transfer. Ellington out to Green. Green misses those, unlike what he did to get that Clemson game back in sway. Joseph on the baseline. No numbers. No numbers. And Jones fouls Marcus Kinney. Well. What a $100,000 salary in college basketball's dream job than play My Circle Pick and Roll Challenge, and you could be the first chief basketball officer of fans. As CBO, you'll take a private jet to your favorite conference tournaments. Apply now at fanu.com slash altel. Singletary back in the game. Tim, that was a pretty good foul, he, he, and I didn't know where Ginyard was going, but it, obviously it wouldn't put North Carolina on the line. There's a bump inside. Hansborough trying to get the spot, but Nella hits him. So 
for Pentanella. That's his first personal. But the problem is Hansborough will go to the line, and Hansborough is an 81% free throw shooter. Now there's where you go back to Jones's foul and you say, you know, you don't commit a foul that is unnecessary, and North Carolina doesn't get to the line. Hansborough with 13 points. Billy at the line, he's now made 206 of his 253 free throws, which means he not only gets there a lot, but he's going to make them when he gets there. Well, and what that does for North Carolina, they're shooting 283 more free throws than are their opponents. They're actually shooting, they're making 127 more than their opponents shoot, which is uh, one of the reasons that they have been on the winning margin most of the time. And a rare miss by Hansbro leaves the game tied at 31. Entry pass to Bettinella, back to Singletary. He looks at the shot clock and sees 10. Keep his dribble alive there and probably should have in that double team to try to split on Hansborough. Seven turnovers for the Cavaliers. <laughs> Hansborough, tough shot, ball still loose. Possession arrow belongs to North Carolina. Now he gets a rebound credit for that, laying flat on his back. So what was his vertical leap on that play? <laughs> Minus but it, four. But it is, a, it is a rebound, though. He had nothing to do. Good double team. And watch this. A rebound flat on his back. And this is where he's best. And Billy, invariably, he comes back after there's contact and plays that much harder. Yeah, you don't want to go and try to wake him up in a no. ball game. Because he's going to bring it every night. This is a game that's had four ties, four lead changes, but we're down to 136 in the half. Dangerous time, I would think, for Virginia. Well, I think without a point guard, it's a dangerous time for North Carolina as well. There's a foul, nothing called. Hansborough scores anyway with three men pounding. Talk about a power move, just muscles it in. He's got 15 points. There's a lot of banging going on down low. Singletary steps back. Touch by Ginyard. Here he turns. He gets fouled by two different people on that play. No call, but he makes his shot anyway. Just muscle. You talk about his upper body strength. He just gets that ball up to the hoop. It's not a hook shot. It's not a jump shot. Boy, I'll tell you, they're banging on the inside. Something's going to have to be called. Benton Miller comes up short with his shot, and now something is called. Hansborough was getting knocked around on the inside by Pettinella. And then finally, by getting a rebound, he gets hammered. Hold it on Tucker. That'll be his second. Talked about Tyler Hansborough at the line. It's up there with another great Carolinian. Look at that. Lenny Rosenbluth, who was a scorer, not a pounder like Hansborough. But uh, one of the great soft touches and led the University of North Carolina to National Player of the Year honors and uh, national championship in 57. Surprisingly, in that triple overtime game where they beat Kansas, though, Lenny Rosenbluth was not on the court. He had fouled out in that triple overtime when they won against Kansas. Hansbro has missed two in a row from the line now. Still a two-point game. See the time remaining in the first half. 45 seconds. There he goes. Ellington with that sweet jumper. And that was good patience by Ellington not to take the first shot opportunity that wouldn't have been as good. Carolina pushes that lead to five. Scott can't finish. And Brooke in with another rebound. Talked about being a dangerous time the last minute and a half for the Cavaliers, and they've fallen down by five. And the Tar Heels will try to add to it. And uh, hold it for the last shot, kind of like Villanova did against Georgetown last night. It didn't work out too well. Incredible finish to yes, that game. Was. You hate to see a game ended at the foul line. Nickel one played that hard. Hands grow. Yes. Good timing by North Carolina. And a terrific run by Carolina to end the half. 8 nothing run by the Tar Heels. Carolina 30.
38, Virginia 31. Billy, they fell down by 13. Virginia fought their way back in, and an 8 0 run by the Tar Heels ends the half. We'll be back with our halftime after this. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Toyota, by Progress Energy, by Pontiac, by Chick fil A, by Chevrolet. And by Gatorade. Ruby Tuesday presents the play of the week in the ACC. In an 84-70 win over NC State on Saturday, Gravis Vasquez of Maryland set a school record for assists in a game. The sophomore from Venezuela broke Terrell Stokes' Terrapin record as he dished out 15 assists to go with his 13 points in the victory. Vasquez also finished one rebound short of a triple-double. And that's our Ruby Tuesday play of the week. Tyler Hasbro with a terrific first half, 8 for 10, 17 points, 5 rebounds. He was everywhere. He was strong underneath the basket, but scoring from the outside as well. 38-31, Carolina. What a first half. Virginia got out to a 5-point lead in the first minute. But then the Tar Heels took over the tempo of the ball game. They built a 13-point lead. It was a timeout taken by Dave Leto for the Cavaliers of Virginia. Changed the tempo back to Virginia. Then they tied the ball game up. And again, we had four ties, five lead changes, and then an 8-0 run by the Tar Heels ended the first half. Terrific first half. We'll take a look at the Bud Light scoreboard. We'll update you on some of the other scores as Purdue leads Michigan State 56-52. And how about Butler hanging with Wisconsin-Milwaukee? 63-58. That now in the second half. Some of the other scores, Pitt and Providence, Pitt's winning that one big, and Marquette over Seton Hall, 45-27. Bill Raftery's old school, not doing so well tonight. Celebration continues here. It's halftime. They're loving it at John Paul Jones Arena. We'll be back with more of our halftime after this. This telecast is presented in high definition. We're available by Raycom Sports. We're at Thomas Jefferson's University in Charlottesville, Virginia. And our score at halftime, Carolina 38 and the Cavaliers of Virginia 31. Take a look at the Toyota ACC standings. Duke still unbeaten. And we'll play the Maryland Terrapins tomorrow night. Down at Cameron Indoor, Maryland, the hottest team in the ACC right now. At least one of them. I mean, that is some kind of turnaround by the Terrapins. Now 6-3, six 16-8 and, three, 16 and eight overall. Clemson with that double overtime loss to Carolina, hanging right there at 5-4. and four. Rest of the ACC, there is a log jam in the middle. Sean Singletary, 4 of 8 from the field, 2 for 2 at the line. He's got 11 points, leads Virginia, and trying to keep him in this game against Carolina. This moment in ACC basketball history is presented by GEICO. This week, our honor goes to Gary Williams of Maryland. Last week, with a 70-65 win over Boston College, Williams reported his 600th career coaching victory. He became one of seven active coaches to reach the 600-win milestone and is the winningest coach in Terrapin history. Congratulations to Gary Williams of Maryland for marking his moment in ACC basketball history, which has been presented by GEICO. Welcome back inside the John Paul Jones Arena, 38-31, Carolina leading at half, a tough first half. Virginia jumped out to that early 5-0 lead, and then all of a sudden Carolina fights back. They end the half with an 8-0 run. Tell our hands, just playing well. He really is playing extremely good basketball. Uh, when you take a look at what he has in his first half, 8 out of 10, 17 points, 5 rebounds. And there's Ellington stepping back for that patented jump shot of his, and he's come through with 10 points. So the two of them together, 27 of the points for North Carolina. The Cavaliers, of course, Sean Singletary got it going late in the second half. He ends with 11 points in that first half. 11 points, but even better is the fact that when he has the ball in his hands, he's always guarded by two people, and that makes the other Virginia players so much more valuable. Cavaliers shooting only 37% from the floor. 4 of 12 beyond the arc, and they trail by 7. ACC Basketball is brought to you by RBC Centura. By your Carolina Chrysler dealers. By Charles Schwab. By Ruby Tuesday. 
by Toyota. By Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society. And by GMC. This telecast is presented in high definition. We're available by Raycom Sports. We're all set to start the second half. Carolina leading the Wahoos 38-31, and this place is jumping. Then we talked about uh, Virginia's lost six straight, nine of their last ten, and that first half stats are rather telling. Five of the last ten games, Virginia's opponents have shot over 50%. North Carolina's shooting over 50%. Six of the last ten opponents, Virginia has shot under 40%. That's the formula tonight. So you've got the opponent over 50, Virginia under 40. Not a good sign for the Cavaliers. Not a good formula at all. But the Cavaliers will have it first to start the second half, and it's in the hands of Sean Singletary. That's where it belongs. Thomas, Ellington, Thompson, Hansbro, and Ginyard start the second half for Carolina. And it's Ginyard on Singletary trying to protect Thomas a little bit out there with the three fouls that he's got on him. Singletary with the air ball. Thomas to Ellington. And last touch by Ginyard. And you see that Thompson out there is still gimpy. He's got a neat little brace on there. He doesn't look like he's moving around like you'd like to see him. Yeah, Thompson is 6'8", 240-pounder, sophomore at Torrance, California. And after tonight, North Carolina does get a little rest. They don't play till Saturday where they'll take on Virginia Tech. Jones picked up his dribble and got into trouble. It'll belong to the Wahoos. The Virginia Tech team that's beaten this Virginia team twice in overtime. Isn't it interesting this year? Ten overtime games in the conference. North Carolina has won two overtime games against Clemson. Virginia Tech has won two overtime games against Virginia. Just underway. Second half, Tim Brandt, Billy Packer with you. 38-31 Carolina. Shot clock down to 10. Singletary's got to go. It's a nice, solid screen. Kicks it back to Jones. Push Pettinello with the follow. And last touched by Pettinello. I wonder if that referee wondered why Hansborough was down underneath the basket instead of going for a rebound. The reason for it is he gets pushed right there. No call on the play. And Pettinello missed a wide oh, open I shot. Know. You know, got away with an easy foul to call. No call made. So you saw Thompson was still limping. They take him out. Gidrid throws it away. They're trying that, to get Stevenson. Yeah, there was that little floater, though. It would have been an easy basket for Ginyard. He's got to be looking for the shot. There's a look at Thompson. and It was kind of obvious that he was a little gimpy out there. So you've got Thompson is limping. Lawson is out. Frazier is lost. Is out. Frazier not to come back. And that ACL that he tore in December. So Terry, nice pass. That quick stop by Singletary not to create the charge. I don't even know how he saw Tucker under there. Cuts the lead to five. Ginyard loses the ball. Still loose. Good hustle by Petnella. And the shot clock is now at ten. on the inside. Thomas. Shot clock at three. Bam! How about that? Uh, Jones, Ellington. Jones had to get right in his face and force him to drive that time. Not give up the jump shot at all. Singletary tries to answer with a three. Boy, Ellington is so smooth at both ends. And how about the look underneath? Hansbro can't finish it. A little bit too far for Tyler. They got to question that pass. Tucker beyond the arc. Wow. That shot as well. And Ginyard is called for the foul on Pettinello. Pettinello, two good hustle plays, get himself in position to score. So Ginyard picks up his first personal. Stevenson goes out of the ball game for Carolina. Petnella coming off that 12 points, 11 rebound game against Wake Forest. Thompson back in. 
And he's still limping, Billy. Yeah, not moving well at all. Nice drive by Baker. Calvin Baker has five points. Well, you see Thomas not wanting to pick up that fourth foul, but he's got to move his feet defensively to stop using his hands. Thompson with the turnaround. Nice bank. He, he wins, though, when he came down on that leg. He is not running well at all. Tar heels by eight. Joseph for two. Ellington is going to go to the line, I believe. Things are getting serious for Virginia yeah. right now, Tim. You kind of get the feeling that they have not come out with a good defensive intensity. North Carolina getting towards a working margin. Calvin Baker is called for the foul, not a shooting foul. Mason Thompson with a really good turnaround jumper. Hansbro gets it knocked out of his hands. Physical underneath, I'll tell you that. Petco is probably one of the stronger guys in Hansbro. Are they going to give him the continuation? How about that? Singletary, bucket counts. He'll go to the line for one more. Thomas has his fourth personal. Guys, fun to watch. And that could be a factor with Thomas with four. And again, I, I've been waiting for Roy Williams to go zone to try to protect some of these guys in foul trouble. That, that bench is so short, particularly in the backcourt area. And so the senior co-captain from Philadelphia at the line, 83% free throw shooter, converts the three-point play and makes it a five-point game. Good response by Virginia. Just when it looked like North Carolina could get that working margin. Ellington. Good defense by Baker. Baker's shot is short. Gotta wonder why Singletary will give it up to Baker. Well, and Ellington takes it all the way in, and he's fouled. 15.50 to play in the game. 43 38 Tar Heels. Well, Wayne Ellington is the one of the purest shooters we've seen in the Atlantic Coast Conference in a long time. Now, there's an example. If you're a defender, you've got to rush him. Force him to put the ball on the floor and dribble to the basket. You can't let him have that look. Why fade behind the screen and let him have the jump shot? Get right out. Even if he beats you off the dribble, that's a lot better than playing away from him and giving him that wide open look for the jump shot. 13 points, 5 of 9. 3 for 6 beyond the arc. He's the number six scorer in the Atlantic Coast Conference, number two from the free throw line, shooting almost 90% from the free throw line. So if you're the defender, force him to put the ball on the floor and drive. Woodman of the world bringing you up to date on the scoreboard of the scores around the country. Ellington at the line. There's a Winthrop right there, a team that has been a factor in the NCAA tournament. Can't get completely over the hump, but obviously a tough out in early rounds. Ellington scored 28 points against Clemson on Sunday. Five threes in that game. The ACC Player of the Week twice this season. Look at the free throws from the Clemson win. Wow. Four of seven tonight. He's got 14 points, trying to make it 15, and does. And it's 45-38 Tar Heels. Every time Virginia brings it back down, North Carolina stretches it back out to one of those seven, eight point leads. Here's a little half court shot. Tough to do against Singletary. And the running one hander goes. Diani cuts the lead by two. Singletary not only has the physical skills, he really has the knowledge to what to do against those traps. Pulled the ball back out, then got the angle to break on the dribble. Elliott, Hansbro, Ginyer. Back to hands, bro. They double him, and he still tries to power it in. There's the whistle and the foul. And Ellington's going back to the line for a three-point play. Ellington is a solid 6'5". And when he gets down inside and he gets caught with smaller people, here's Hansbro pumping, pumping, and almost gets it to drop it. There's Ellington, long arms, 6'5", just beats Baker to the ball. 
Virginia scored two at their end, and Ellington trying to score three at the other, trying to extend the lead. They make it an eight-point bowl, but he misses. Well, he misses one out of ten usually, and so it's about where he is. He can't miss again for another four or five tries. Cavaliers continue to hang around. Diani kicks it out. That's a three ball that won't go down. Baker, how about that? First two from Mikulowskis. Remember, Mik Mikulowskis got through that charge on Hansborough in that first half. He's up. Hasn't played much. But he's having a solid game here so far. Mikulowskis has been out a month and a half with that sore shoulder. There he is battling inside again. Three. Yes. Really good spot up shooter. Those were two huge shots. If you think about that incredible battle between Clemson and North Carolina, where Clemson goes at an 0 53. They can thank Green for those jump shots that he made out there if you're a North Carolina fan. Bring that game back within reach. Well, I tell you, Gianni's had an impact in this ball game. He's come up with timely buckets. Then he has to realize Singletary's underneath him. He can shoot over the top of him when he gets down inside that 12-foot line. Again, he has to go over Mikulaskis. There's Thompson underneath. Thompson continues to struggle with that leg, but he's there for the bucket. Singletary for three. Splash! 17 points for Sean Singletary. Thompson. He loves that glass. And oh, what a tackle. follow by Green. No block out. Virginia not doing a good job blocking out on that end of the floor. Hansborough with a block. Ellington at the other end. He'd like to have that one back. Boy, as the pace of the game picked up over the last two minutes. Not a good shot. And not the guy you want taking it. That was not everybody in the crowd here saying he carried the ball, but what Green did was a smart thing. He never touched it. Well, that ball had taken that odd bounce. So Carolina pushes the lead to nine. Time out on the floor. We'll be back. North Carolina guys picking it up without Lawson playing tonight. There's Green from the outside when he squares up for that jump shot. Pretty tough. Hansborough gets a turnaround look. He doesn't get, but Thompson puts it back in. And then Thompson misses, and then here comes Green from the outside. Poor blocking out by Virginia. North Carolina right now has a huge team on the floor. They really have no true point guard. But Ellington at 6'5 is the shortest guy on the court. And Billy, that field goal position or percentage that you were talking about continues. We saw it on the screen. Here's Singletary with the two ball. He now has 19 points. This is O'Bill. You're right. He's got great form, great release on that shot. Singletary at the other end. Baker gets the roll. Pretty good shot over Ellington that time by the smaller man. Five-point game. And Hansborough gets about a minute and a half rest, and he's coming right back in here. Green can take Tucker. And he fires from three. I think he should have tried to put the ball on the floor and take Tucker's not used to guarding the man that quick outside. Singletary had it halfway down. Thompson with a good defensive play. He's running a little bit better now. Boy, he and Mikulaskis are really going after it down low. A nice fall away by Thompson. He's grimacing when he runs, but... Uh, he looks a lot better than he did at the start of the second half. Thompson's still limping, but he has double figures now with 10 points. 
He has excellent low post turnaround moves. Scott back door, Singletary, and he's fouled. 10.52 to play. Singletary's going to the line. It's a 58-51 ball game. Sean Singletary is, uh, in my estimation, one of the best point guards in the United States. He's got the total package of the game. There we saw the split. This was earlier in the first half, and the pull-up jumper handles the ball extremely well. There's a little glide shot on the inside, so he doesn't get caught for the charge. Not afraid to take it hard to the basket. The one thing I would fault him for is he needs to be more selfish. I agree with that. Uh, on this team, he needs to be more selfish. I'll give you an example. Fuzzy Wilkinson, who was the great scorer back in the 50s for Virginia, had 10 40-point games. So obviously, he put up a lot of shots. First guy in college basketball history ever to have back-to-back 30-point -back average scoring years, OK? In one game, he took 44 shots. Now, a guy who can score over 40 points in 10 games takes 44 shots. Imagine what the defense had to do to get ready to play again. Absolutely. And see, I think of Singletary is a guy that's taken about 20 shots a game. The defense has to do so much to get ready for him, his teammates are going to be wide open. He's got the stamina to do that. He just has to be a little bit more selfish. And we talked about that during the timeout. You know, Joseph taking the jumper or Singletary. He kept giving it up, and there's the foul. It's a five-point lead, and they're going to try to get a little bit closer here. And the thing about it, Tim, see, there'd be so much pressure that that puts on the defense. Now, if the guy didn't have stamina, he couldn't do that. But uh, with his stamina, I believe he could. Green now has three personals, particularly a team that's shooting so poorly as a team that Virginia does. Singletary, Diani. Look at how many open shots he creates any time he has the ball in his hands for his teammates, not just himself. This is Graves. His shot is partially blocked. His last touch by the Tar Heels. It'll be Cavalier basketball. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You gotta wanna need to get a have a Bojangles. And North Carolina, the number one scoring team in the ACC, averaging 91 points a game. Obviously, going to be considerably below that. So this game has been played at Virginia's tempo. Again, the split of the double team and they're running one hand. Yep. How sweet is that? And Billy, it's a three-point game. Oh. Hansbro was fouled at the other end by Pettinella. Good call by the trail official. And here's a maneuver that young players out there ought to watch and emulate often. The way that Singletary is able to go ahead and penetrate and break a double team. To the foul of Patinello, they're still booing about that. Dave Leto really upset about it. Patinello ends up with it. He shouldn't have been. That was a good call. to play in the ball game. Singletary from beyond the arc has it blocked by Hansbro. And Ginyard scores at the other end. Good powerful drive by Ginyard. What a help by Hansbro. Came from way out underneath the basket. And Singletary's body language has changed since getting it blocked. Hansbro has not yet blocked 10 shots on the year, but that was a big one. Baker should have been there. Baker's there now. Can't score. Petinella is fouled. It's going to be Stevenson inside on the push. It's green, and that'll be his fourth. Carolina Chrysler and Jeep dealers are giving away two grand prizes that include tickets, accommodations, and new vehicles to drive to the 2008 ACC Tournament in Charlotte. So visit your local Carolina Chrysler Jeep dealer for more details. Chrysler and Jeep are the official vehicles of the ACC. Graves going in for Green. Thomas in foul trouble. Green in foul trouble. And Thompson with some problems with that knee. No 
but Donna really getting short on that bench. And the Cavaliers needing some points. Down five. There's Petnello again. Has it blocked. Crowd won a goal, ten and good block. And a possession arrow belongs to the Tar Heels. There's where, as a player, you need to know which way that arrow is pointing. Ellington did. So just get possession and don't throw that ball away. Here's that block, Billy. And that's Stevenson, who has very good timing on the inside. Powerful young guy. And definitely on the way up. Five blocks for the Tar Heels. Ginyard throws it away. Had the right idea. 16 turnovers for Carolina tonight. Roy Williams not happy. Well, he might not be happy, but when you figure you're down to your third point guard, and that third point guard is having foul trouble, you really don't have anybody to distribute the ball. Not anybody that you'd like to have on the floor. But Ginyard could have made that play. Roy Williams taps him on the back. You like the demeanor of a coach that way. He's not upset because the guy was trying to make a good play. Adrian Joseph back in the ball game as Scott goes out. Deani with a jump stop and a score. Virginia hanging tight. And Deani now in double figures with 10. Time for Hansborough to touch it. There it is. Singletary comes out with it and a whistle and he's fouled. I think that'll be on Hansborough on a push. Singletary still slow getting up. 7.35 to play. It's a three-point game. Cavaliers have the ball and the fans love it. Well, UVA making a run at the fifth-ranked team in the country tonight. And they're getting production from everywhere, including Diani. A good looking jump shot. Singletary setting up the play. There was a nice baseline. Then jump stop for the basket. As you can see, Hansborough does not control that paint as a shot block. UVA was 3 0 last year against ranked opponents. This is the first ranked opponent to come to Charlottesville this year. And they're thinking upset here at Virginia. They were 16 1 at home last year. You can see Hansbrough really not having that big second half. That's why I said that ball needs to go into it. They were 16-1 last year. Did not lose to an ACC team, but did not have North Carolina in this gym. Their only loss last year was to Stanford here. Boy, Singletary looked at the three. Instead, kicks it out to Jones. Shot clock at 15. Nick Malowski's oh. shot with a drop step and a power move. Stuck, uh, snuck right under Stevenson. A one-point game and the foul called in the baseline. Bucket won't count. The foul is on Diani, and that's his third. He waits. The double team comes. Stevenson figures he has them all to himself and just sneaks right underneath. You know, we talked about uh, Virginia beating North Carolina in the ACC tournament in 76, but in February 22nd, 75, after North Carolina won nine times in a row at Virginia, Virginia upset North Carolina 65-62. Carolina at that time was ranked 12th. Our buddy Dan Bonner had a big game. Did he? That's right. 15 points, 12 rebounds. Nice block. Shot clock at 15. Still plenty of time. This is Ginyard. Yes. Oh, huge. This is an amazing Ginyard and Green. They had the game against Duke, but nothing worked right for Ellington and Green, which was very surprising. You very seldom see both of those guys shut down. Or Vineyard hits the big jump. Bench scoring heavily in favor of the Wahoos. Again, Singleton giving up the ball. Jones off balance, banks it in. Virginia hanging right there. Two-point game as we go under six minutes to play. Thompson answers. Thompson with 12 points. He's lumbering, isn't he? Yeah, he is lumbering, but he has great low-post moves, as I've said many times. 
I think North Carolina's got to get the ball to hands for his son, make him a threat again so Ellington can have some open jumpers. Terry just tested the middle. Shot clock now at five. Diani. Hansbro with another rebound. Oh, he could do move. that all night. What a move. Nikolauskas and turned him around. He surprises people how well he puts the ball on the floor. Jones for three. Jones on a nice drive, and then he hits the jumper. Jeff Jones, seventh three of the year. Ellington. And the foul is called, I believe, on Hansbro. You know, single fit, but he's amazing how he rebounds in traffic for a man his size. Billy, that's three on Hansbro. With 4.42 to go, though, unless you're going overtime, I don't think that's a big problem for North Carolina. Again, I w I'm surprised that North Carolina has not played some zone in this game. One of these games... Georgia Tech, Clemson, Wake Forest, Florida State coming your way on Thursday on Raycom Sports. This guy right here, the only player this year in the ACC who's had a 30-point game and also a 10-rebound game and also a 10-assist game. And he's perfect, versatile. perfect at the line. Secretary, six for six. The number seven free throw shooter in the league. Two-point game. Right, Hansborough wants that ball now. And he's fouled. It's a good move by North Carolina to get their horse the ball. He wants it. Watch how aggressively he sets up on the inside. petnella has been banging him all game, and he just wanted it more there. And Petnello picks up the personal. Hansbro just one for three at the line tonight. One of the few guys in the league strong enough, though, to bang with him fairly well. He's been giving his, his share of banging around inside. Jones, who had two big basket, comes out. Baker back in there. It's a three-point lead, and Tyler Hansbro has only three points this half. So the Cavaliers have done a nice job on it. I think his teammates have done a job on him in a way. They have not looked to get him the ball inside. And again, uh, with Lawson being out of the lineup, Thomas in foul trouble. He's on that point guard play that would necessarily be used to get the ball to low post. Tucker pushed from behind, no foul call. The push was just enough, a good point on you by you, Tim, that pushed just enough to alter that last shot. And a great follow by Green. Again, no block out from the weak side. Pushes Carolina's lead to six. And here again, as I said, this is where Singletary has to become selfish. Keep that ball in his hands. Spend the energy to try to get his shot. Second chance points huge for the Tar Heels, 16 to four. It's a three. Well, we talked about the huge shot by Green before. That was run by Tucker. The least expected. Cavaliers rolling. The guards getting the rebounds for Virginia. Baker and Singleton. Singletary. Singletary kicks it back to Baker. No hurry now. Petnella battling. Got by with another push off. Singletary resets him. Baker ties his shoe. Singletary looks over there and sees him 
And just hesitates for a minute. Two and a half to play. Baker off balance. And that sets up the break. And taken away by Singletary. Now well, can misjudge his quickness. Singletary beyond the yard. North Carolina is fatigued, and Roy Williams sees it and calls a timeout. And the crowd is just waiting to explode. 71-68 with two minutes to play in the ballgame. Timeout on the floor as the teams discuss strategy. You should, too. Premium service. Expect it. Don't pay it. Talk to Chuck. Charles Schwab. Billy, what are they talking about here? What's Dave Lato telling them? Yeah, I, I think the main thing I would concentrate on and give Singletary a rest if I have to in the last two minutes to make sure that he has the ball in his hands and generates all the offense. You don't want anybody else trying to make big plays here. You've got a guard that's playing as well as anybody in the country in his position, even though their team has not had great success. He has got to have the ball. There was the flop earlier in the game. Look, is coming in and giving him a big boost tonight. And if you're, here's the ball on the inside. Jones, who had made two field goals in a row there. And if you're North Carolina, I think the time now is to keep going back into Hansville inside. And those two guys, Billy, are your bench differential. That's how the Cavaliers have really surged off the bench tonight. Mikulowskis, he hadn't played in a month and a half with that sore shoulder, and he gave him some good minutes tonight. 45 to play. Good weak side help by Joseph. Oh, good strong move inside by Ellington. That was a nice job by Ellington. He realized Joseph had left him to go over to help out on Hansbro, and that just gave enough room for Ellington to be able to get that shot off. Pushes the Tar Heel lead back to five with a minute and a half to play. I think we're seeing now a little offense and defense substitution by Virginia. Trying to get an offensive team on the floor when they've got the ball. I tell you, they have gotten on Tyler Hansbro from the get-go, and they have battled and bumped and bruised him all night. And he'll be feeling it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Petnello, we, we said that uh, Hansbro took the day off yesterday after that grueling game against Clemson. But he still comes back and will battle anybody anytime he puts on a uniform. But Billy here in the second half, Hansbro with only two rebounds and four points. I think, uh, as I said, Tim, I think that was primarily because North Carolina really without a point guard that would have the, the normal move to get the big man the ball. You know, I watched Lawson walk before the Duke game. It was obvious he was not going to play that night. Uh, in the Clemson game, obviously it wasn't fair, so I didn't see how he worked out. Tonight, uh, it didn't look like he was much better, so I don't know how long it's going to be before he, he's able to come back and, and be the, the real gem of a point guard that this team has. I mean, they go from having one of the top point guards in the country to dropping way off. Under a minute and a half we go. This is where Sean Singletary's got to come up big for the Cavaliers. Here he is. Kicks it back out to Baker. Baker ought to give it right back to him as he does. Singletary off balance, tough shot. There's Deani, and he loses it out of bounds. No, touched by Ellington. It'll be the Cavaliers basketball with 111 to play at 73-68. trying to add a new chapter to this ACC rivalry with Carolina. John Grisham's here to see it. Guy knows something about good endings, doesn't he? He sure does. 73-68. He's written the, some of the best. And Tim, back to that formula I talked about that's not good for Virginia at halftime. As I mentioned to you, five of the last ten games, the opponent has shot over 50%. And Virginia has lost those games. North Carolina shooting 52%. Six of the last ten, Virginia shot under 40%. Right now, they're at 36%. That same form that jumps out at you. Well, the officials want to get in there. Everybody's a little bit too close. 
as they jockey for position for the inbounds pass. Well, down five, you don't have to be thinking three-point shot at all, but if you're Virginia, again, get that ball in Singletary's hands. He's the guy taking the ball out of bounds. See if he steps right back in and gets it back. Trying to get it to Gianni. They can't do it, so they go to the deep pass. That'll lead up a little bit of time. We've got 68 seconds left. He gets it back, but not the way he anticipated. One minute. Jumping Singletary, nowhere to go. Over to Baker for three. Yes! Big bucket, 73-71. Funny looking shot, but it went in. 30-second timeout taken by the Cavaliers. And now the key thing, if you are Virginia and the coaching staff, one of the key thing I talked about, you know Virginia's working on is going to try to get the ball to hands, bro. What has killed Virginia is when they go over to help, the weak side rebounding has not been there. We saw Green come over and get one. We saw Ellington come over and get one. They've got to concentrate on weak side rebounding. Well, Billy, this 30-second timeout, I would assume, would be just for that. Well, and the other thing, Tim, without having a Lawson available for North Carolina, you have nobody really on the North Carolina team on the perimeter that can break you down off the dribble. So you don't have to worry about that so much. You're, what you're going to do is have to stop the ball from getting into Hansbro, and if it does, and you're going to double on him, really back down inside there. And I'd, I'd say if the player's out on the floor, Green and Ellington, the last two guys you can afford to back off on the jump shot. So the timeouts left, only one full for the Cavaliers. No double. Shot clock at 20. Out to Thomas. That's not the same as Lawson. Shot clock at 10, 26 on the game clock. Inside the hands go. Tough shot. And the jump hook goes. we have got just enough space. Singletary having all kinds of trouble. Never really did get control of that ball. But the possession arrow belongs to the Cavaliers. Boy, he had problems when he first got the ball at the top of the key down on the other end and never really got the dribble solid. Now, did he take the timeout before the tie-up? That's a full timeout by the Cavaliers. And how about that shot? Watch all the dribbling problems he has here. But before the tie-up, Billy, Dave Lato called his last timeout. ACC Basketball has been brought to you by Bud Light. By your Carolina Jeep dealers. By Alltel Wireless. By Food Line. By Pepsi. And by Geico. Well, it's been a good one here tonight. 13.9 seconds left in 75-71 Carolina. Hansbro with 23 points, 7 rebounds. Rather quiet here in the second half. They bottled him up pretty good. Well, North Carolina team, as I said, number one scoring team in the Atlantic Coast Conference at 91 a game. Virginia is a team, they score 75, their opponents 69. So this is right in their type of ball game they like to play. But right now, they, they've got real problems. They've got to get a shot off quickly here. Down four, they obviously can't tie it with a three. But they've got to go ahead and get a quick basket. They have no more timeouts left. That could hurt them. They had the possession arrow on the tie-up. I'm surprised they took the timeout. Trouble getting the ball in bounds. Here we go. Clock is moving. A little quick shot. There it Singletary is. Terry for three. Yes! It's a one-point game with 8.2 seconds left. That was a good foul. Pass. And the foul on Ellington. Well, you foul a 90% free throw shooter. And Virginia, again, not able to get themselves in good defensive position. North Carolina did a terrific job keeping that ball alive. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You've got to want to need to get a have a Bojangles. Everything's one and one now. 
two for three at the line tonight. And Virginia still has a chance here, even if he makes both. that. Green kept it alive and then Ginyard, Virginia never got a chance. 75-74 Billy, what a ball game. Terrific ball game. The ACC continues with these close encounters. Our Pepsi players of the game. Wayne Ellington, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 7 of 15 from the floor. And Sean Singletary, 27 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds, 3 steals, and so much for the Cavaliers. Billy, your final thoughts? Well, it's a shame this Virginia club falls under 500 as well as they play in many games. 75-74 Carolina. You've been watching exclusive coverage of ACC basketball on Raycom Sports. For Billy Packer, I'm Tim Brandt saying so long from Charlottesville, Virginia. Good night, everybody.